My name is Michael Deemer. I'm Executive Vice President for Business Development at Downtown Cleveland Alliance, a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to attracting people, jobs, and investment to downtown Cleveland. I'm joined here today by Nate Kelly, Managing Director at Cresco Cushman and Wakefield Real Estate, and Rico Petro, also with Cresco Cushman and Wakefield Real Estate. And we're here to talk about uh, what's taking place in downtown Cleveland and the many ways uh, in which Cresco has been an active participant uh, and a leader uh, in our community in, in many ways. So welcome, Nate and Rico. Really grateful for you taking Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you, Michael. You're working with uh, businesses every day that are making decisions about how they can best uh, grow, uh, attract talent, and, and all, do all the sorts of things that they need to do to be successful in business. As you're talking with them, Rico, you know, what are some of the, the factors that you see going into the decisions that businesses are making about where they're going to look? Sure. Well, first, I'd like to thank Stark Enterprises for being here and being our host. Uh, and one of their taglines is it's all about the experience. And I think that's even more true in the real estate industry, specifically in the office arena today. Companies are looking for great access for their employees, for places to park. They want to have meaningful experiences where they can go out and dine or enjoy lunch. They want to have walkability uh, to be able to get out of the office, enjoy a cup of coffee, hit a local park. They really want that kind of rounded out experience that allows them to not only have a productive nine to five culture, but also a place that their employees enjoy coming to work. We're again, proud of the progress that we've made in downtown Cleveland. We've got the largest residential downtown in the state of Ohio, the largest single jobs hub uh, in the state of Ohio. Uh, but as you look from your leadership post at uh, Cresco, as you draw upon your, your history of economic development experience, what do you, where do you think we need to go next in downtown Cleveland to make ourselves more attractive to the uh, businesses and the types of considerations that Rico just described? Well, I think firstly, we have to keep the momentum going. Your focus on residential and business attraction at the same time is a heavy lift. But we need that in order to have that 18 hour city that keeps our city vibrant. And we're attracting people to come here for the first time and then they stay. Moreover, we're getting people that are you know, currently in the suburbs or were recently in the suburbs that are becoming empty nesters. And we're seeing that capture rate really get pushed up by not the traditional group that you think just millennials, mm -hmm. but actually empty nester boomers. And fortunately, when they're having a good experience, they're the ones that are often making that buy decision still and helping to create more and more momentum. Something that helped us for a long time was converting some obsolete office infrastructure into residential. That helped us boost our numbers for residents, but it also helped us um, take a lot of old inventory off of the market. What's been so impressive over the past couple of years, what we see over the next few years, is the new construction. Like the Beacon, like the Lumen, like Nucleus Project. All those things show great promise for what's to come. For us in downtown Cleveland, next frontier is really infill development, replacing some of our, our surface parking areas with the kind of new construction that we're talking about here. Uh, as, you're, as you're talking to office users uh, in Northeast Ohio, and again, those looking uh, from outside the state, uh, you know, what, what sorts of office uh, space are they looking for? Well, we just work together on Zilker Technologies, and what I think the market is looking for is options. Uh, they like new construction options. That's a great pathway for a more efficient space, a great way to recruit, and a great story to tell that your company is at the cutting edge of where office space they're going. But I think companies want options. They want flexibility in their space. Uh, companies today don't know what they may be in five years. Those groups are looking for move-in options. They're not looking for six month lead times to construct the space. So those are options that are available uh, in our market. We probably have to do a little bit of a better job making more and more of those options available and having our developers be a little bit more entrepreneurial on getting spaces ready to move in. I think in addition to that, we wanna really have kind of edgy options. Options that, uh, that you see on the coast that are conversions of old uh, historic properties or warehouse buildings offering flex spaces that can be used for tech, that can be used for R&D, that can be used for labs, that can be used for high growth companies. Uh, it's really simple to think about, but being able to drop in cubicles or workstations and putting in some, some plants or things like that with some oriental rugs to just really make a space pop 
is a cool component to an office space and it gives a lot of flexibility for that company to grow quickly and to go in different directions if their business audience changes. We really appreciate your partnership at Downtown Believe in Alliance and we really appreciate everything that Cresco is doing to bring people, jobs, and investment in downtown Cleveland. Thanks for making yourself available today and spending some time with me. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael.